Welcome back, everyone. It is such a blessing to be with you today. You know, we saw in Richard's news today that smokers who incorporated a wide variety of the colored fruits and vegetables in their diet had lower incidence of lung cancer. Isn't that great news? You know, we always talk about incorporate the brightly colored fruits and vegetables. Well, this takes us to today's show. This one's going to be so interesting, so sit back and listen. We're going to showcase four of the world's best known superfoods. This is so interesting. We love studying the old folklore, the, med the medicinal foods from around the world. So we are going to call this fruits of the world. Richard, this is so right. interesting. And yeah. as we develop the story today and we go through all of these different superfoods, mm -hmm. then we'll tell everyone how they can take advantage of these. Yes, that's a great idea. Why don't we start with one we're sort of familiar with is the acai berry juice. Oh, I love juice. acai. Oh, it's tremendous. Uh, acai, A-C-A-I, and the scientific name is Euterpa oleracea. This is a small black purple berry from the Brazilian acai palm tree, okay? It has a tart berry flavor with a subtle aftertaste. It tastes better than noni. Those of you who take your noni to help control your pain, you know, it's, it takes a while to get used to noni, but acai goes down very easily, very nice. Um, the little berry is about an inch in diameter. It, it looks kind of like a grape, but it doesn't have quite as much juicy pulp. It has a bigger seed. It's more like an olive in the seed side, but we don't eat the seed, okay? The acai seed makes up about 80% of the fruit, but it's not eaten. Acai berry loses its nutrients quickly. And so it's very important to package this fruit in a preserved way quickly so that you can take advantage of its huge antioxidant properties. And when you think acai, that's what you should think of, is its outstanding ORAC or antioxidant properties. It reigns in at 1,026, the highest ORAC antioxidant potential of any fruit, any food ever studied. Now there may be a better one out there somewhere, but we don't know about it yet. The next closest ORAC rating is from the black raspberry at 340 versus over 1,000 for acai, okay? Now, two things, very important, Texas A&M right here in Texas, great school. They showed that when you take acai, these antioxidants gain access to your bloodstream. You know, just because a substance has certain chemical properties doesn't mean we humans can necessarily take advantage of it. But they were able to pro prove in their studies that if you drink acai, it gets into your bloodstream. And they did another study that showed when you drank even a small amount of acai, you don't need to drink a quart of this a day. When you drink it, it doubles to triples your blood's antioxidant ability. Now, we could stop right there, and I would be required to recommend you to drink some acai from time to time just from its antioxidant properties. That alone what makes it a superfruit, mm -hmm. the best antioxidant ever found. Right. I mean, that's, that's amazing, okay? But there is more on acai. Acai, that purple color, just, just this like... This is my acai jacket, honey. That's perfect. That's exactly what that acai is looks like. Mm -hmm. And while I happen to match with my tie with you, well, I picked that up when I saw you wearing nine, because I'm going to get this tie to match you. <laughs> That's you the acai look, okay? Uh, acai has these polyphenols, much like grapeseed, okay? Like turmeric, these are all these polyphenols, a turmeric, a quercetin. And the polyphenols of acai, they've been able to show with these polyphenols that they go not only into the blood, but they go across the blood-brain barrier and they help to protect the brain from, you know, the Alzheimer plaque phenomenon, these beta amyloid plaques and the oxidative stresses that can go on in the brain. So not many things can penetrate this blood-brain barrier, but the antioxidants of acai do. Further, there's cardiovascular benefits. They were able to show that these antioxidants induce long-term vasodilation. That helps to lower your blood pressure. Low blood pressure is a hallmark of good health. High blood pressure is a danger sign. You never want high blood pressure. It's, it's never a good thing to have that. And so these powerful polyphenols are capable of dilating our blood vessels for a long-term type thing. It's not, you know, if I were to drink a, a big glass of juice and for 20 minutes my blood vessels are dilated, that's nice. But how much good does that really do in the long run? Not so with acai. It's a long-term dilation. That's a big deal. Uh, let's go down to cancer. Of course, these are all test tube studies. This is all preliminary, but this, this is good news. Acai inhibits 
50 to 85 percent of all leukemia type cells they test in test tubes. That's good. Uh, it also inhibits a 90.7 percent of colon cancer cells, keeping them from proliferating. Test tube studies, preliminary. Approved for cancer treatment in the U.S.? No. We're not saying that, but we do know from a huge bank of knowledge that antioxidants help us not only to fight cancer when we have it, but keep it away when we don't. So this is valuable information and applicable. Let's see, anti-inflammatory effect. Uh, it inhibits the nitric oxide burst that helps to reduce inflammation. We found from studies that uh, a laboratory in, in Washington that acai inhibits the COX-1 and COX-2 enzyme. That's your Celebrex and Advil, okay? Are you tired of the side effects of your drugs? Tired of the burning stomach? Did the doctor say, uh, uh, Ms. Jones, you, you can't take any more of that stuff because your kidneys are beginning to damage. Well, we have alternatives in the natural world to help calm that inflammation, and acai does it. Plus, one last thing on acai, it is a nutritionally dense fruit. Quite unusual in the fruit world to have some 16 different amino acids in fruit. Who ever heard of that? That's unusual. It also contains a, a wide variety of vitamins, A, C, calcium, fiber, oleic acid. Now, what's oleic? Olive oil contains oleic acid. Now, when you pour that acai into a glass, let it sit a minute, you'll see tiny little particles of oil form on the surface. That's normal. That's okay. That's the oleic acid, the health-promoting oleic acid. That's a good thing. It's not spoiled. There's nothing wrong with it. It's supposed to do that. And I would imagine it comes from the seed, mm -hmm. much like it does in the olive. Right. You know, just like mm -hmm. it. And you know what? That just dawned on me, that connection. The seed of acai looks exactly like an olive seed. Maybe, maybe that's the connection there somehow, some way. Mm -hmm. In any event, it's a nutritionally dense fruit juice, and it is outstanding in antioxidant properties. Mm -hmm. So when we think of acai, think of antioxidants. That's right. All right? And acai actually tastes good, honey. And it I does love taste it. good. That's the I neat part it. about it. Okay. Well, the mm -hmm. next one is a new fruit that we haven't explored before. I'm so excited to talk about this one. This one is also very nutrient dense. Yeah, uh, the goji berry. Uh, historically, it's been called the wolf berry more often than goji, the wolf berry. It's called the happy berry. Isn't that interesting? It's the happy berry. Whee! It's a happy berry. I like that idea. It grows from a thorny shrub called Lyceum barbarum. Lyceum, spelled with a Y, Lyceum barbarum. And this is a member of the nightshade family. Tomato, potato, peppers are also a part of the nightshade. Interesting relationship there. I would have never connected those two because mm. they don't look anything alike, not to me. But I'm not a botanist. The uh, goji plant creates orange-red berries that look like little elliptical peppers. That's what they look like. Mm. And they grow in their native regions in dry, salty environments throughout the southeastern Europe and into Asia. Now, the plants have been used as a cultivar to halt erosion and impede the desert encroachment. You know, you've heard of this, the go gobi desert, the Sahara Desert, these are getting bigger and they've learned that if they plant certain types of shrubs at the edges of the desert, it mm -hmm. slows that progression so we have more farmable land. That's a big deal. And goji has been used extensively for that. Now it works so well in this principle for erosion control that England imported into the British Isles some 300 years ago to use in hedgerows. You know, the British, they went all over the world, right. imported, exported, all these different things. They brought the goji plant back and used it. And I bring this up because this is important. Goji is new to the Western world, right? We haven't drank the juice, but it has been used in England for at least 300 years, and the people ate the fruit of that. That's a safety profile, mm -hmm. see? So at least 300 years of use in Western civilization, but in the Himalayan regions and in Asia, it's been used for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years as a medicinal food. Now, it is a nutritionally diverse fruit, 11 essential minerals, pretty good, really good for the mineral content, 22 trace minerals, 18 amino acids, even better than acai, six vitamins, very high in the carotenoids, but the real secret of goji is in its polysaccharide content. Now, what is a polysaccharide? You've all heard about the beta-glucans. You've all heard about the medicinal mushrooms and the cordyceps and the mataki. They contain polysaccharides, and polysaccharides have phenomenal 
health promoting properties. Let's go to our break, but when we return, let's talk about the early studies that have been conducted on goji. This may surprise you. We'll be right back. <laughs> 